I am here to talk about ACK. Um, who, here, who here uses ACK? All right, looks like we got about 50-50 here. And for the 50% that don't, you know, this is a simple little thing that uh, has made my life much, much better. So I am excited. I, I want to share that with you because I, I'm always looking for simple things that will, you know, make my life better. You know, for example, I've just given myself a promotion thanks to Roy's talk, you know, freelance architect. <laughs> simple thing makes my life better. And, um, you know, I'm a freelance architect, I, um, and there's my handles and stuff like that. I love hard problems. Let me know if you have one. But um, so I think this actually ties into a lot of these talks. We talk about organizing code. We talk about taking the big mess on the floor and putting it in little boxes and putting those boxes somewhere convenient. We're replacing depth with breadth, but that doesn't make it any easier to find things. And we talk about reading code and, you know, one of the best ways to read and understand code is to start asking it questions and see what answers you get. And the same with new projects. So, what is ACK? ACK finds things. And ACK finds things really well. ACK is designed for code and it's designed for code projects. And it's better than grep. Why is it better? It's faster, it's more intuitive, and it skips stuff like your Git repository by default. So, what is the big deal about that? Um, so, um, I was going to, let's see, bring up a window and try to show you um, real quick. So, let's say I have an app, and let's see how many things I have there. Um, let me see, when is out. So, it is 8001 files. It's a pretty big Rails project. But, you know, let's say I want to find something like, oh, I don't know, I want to find anywhere the word quest shows up. You know, it's pretty fast. In fact, um, it would be, everything is swapped out of cache. This is my ancient MacBook Air. Your new iPhones probably have more processor speed. But, you know, it goes through all 8,000 files in, oh, I don't know, two seconds. So that, that's something to be excited about. And it's also nice to be able to find something like, oh, I want to find a field and I want to find it in, oh, I don't know, my HTML files. And so then all it does is look in the HTML files. Or if I want to find something like, you know, I just want to find it in the Ruby files, I can, you know, look for it in my Ruby files. And, um, you know, so there it is. It's in specs. It's all that, all that other stuff. And it can have intelligent defaults about case sensitivity and stuff like that. And it's also very fast, which is really good because, as Mike says, maintaining fo you know, has implied maintaining focus is priceless. So if you don't spend a lot of time trying to find crap, you can actually keep your mind on your task. So anyway, so that's the big deal. And it's actually really easy to install. So if you have Homebrew, you can do Brew Install ACK. You know, it's on Ubuntu, and you can even install it on Windows. And I've, you know, worked much better than anything I've ever used to find things in a project in Windows. Um, you know, you might need to tweak it a little bit. Um, you know, for example, um, it doesn't know about a lot of these fancy files that we use, you know, in uh, Rails land. So, you know, you can, you can give it some options. It has, you know, these are just command line options that you can give it. So I can say, okay, you know, I want Haml to show up under HTML files, and I want to, you know, be case insensitive unless I put uppercase stuff in. I want to sort things, colors, you know, all, all that, you know, some other nice things. Um, you know, I've, I've got a link to the gist. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, and I posted the presentation to, um, on the, under the hashtag for Twitter. Um, and there's also act.vim, which is an awesome plugin that lets you do all of that great stuff like, um, Binding files in Vim gives, gives you a nice little quick fix window, and if I had my screen a little bit smaller, you would see some context, and you can go there and you can see all the matches, which is very cool. And so there are just all the references all in one place. I posted, I posted the slides to the Rocky Mountain Ruby hashtag, and um, there you go. So get rid of grep, Zach. <laughs>